I've always been interested in planes since I was a little kid. Always love looking up and seeing things fly overhead. I realized that I knew I wanted to be somewhere in the aviation field from a young age. Maintenance seemed like the, the perfect key for me as far as being able to get my hands dirty with something that I've always been passionate about. Aviation maintenance really gives you a feel of how these aircraft are running. You get to figure out how they actually work, the lifeblood of the engine. This university was founded on pilots and mechanics. Following that tradition, we're able to train our students to become the best technicians and at the same time motivate them to get an education. As a teacher, the best part of my job is, is interacting with students that share the same love that I do, and that love is for aviation. It's very nice to be surrounded by people that have a love and an interest for what it is that you're interested in. The faculty here, they have a passion for what they do, and, and you definitely get a sense every day that the faculty wants to see you succeed. They want you to do well in this industry, and, and they give you every opportunity to do so. A student that arrives at our department has the option of doing an associate's degree or a bachelor's of science in aviation maintenance science. By having a bachelor's degree, you are just giving yourself more of a foundation to be able to start off a career in the right direction. Students will gain additional knowledge and skills and presentation and technical writing. Topics that employers are really looking for to move up into management levels. The commitment of Embry-Riddle towards the students here in the Aviation Maintenance Science is obviously demonstrated here by these facilities. The Emil Bueller Aviation Maintenance Science Building was just opened in August of 2011. The building is 48,000 square feet that is entirely dedicated towards aviation maintenance. I needed a school that could give me both theoretical and practical training. You get to see exactly what you talk about in class when you get to the labs. And during those labs, the students get hands-on experience working with aircraft systems, components, and actually working on aircraft themselves. During classroom discussions, I can talk about all of the techniques, but there's nothing like trying to bring the students down and physically give them the opportunity to perform these actions themselves. The equipment that our students learn on here, when they leave here, it's the same equipment that they're going to be working on in the industries. What we have here is a class that's uh, doing a bit of a pre-inspection on this aircraft. This is a Lear 35. We're emphasizing higher-end aircraft, jets, commercial aircraft, commercial aviation. That's what industry's looking for. That's what they come here to get from our students. We have a direct partnership with the aviation industry out there, from general aviation to air transport. So if a new technology changes in the industry, we make it happen here. And our students learn to not just blindly hook up wires, but to how to make those decisions and integrate those systems together. Darwin was actually nice enough to donate an entire glass panel cockpit system to us, which is amazing. The fact that we are who we are, we have these opportunities, and it's phenomenal to be able to do this. The job of an aviation maintenance technician carries a lot of responsibility, and the department really prides itself in the ability to infuse those values in the students as they go through the program. This is our repair station here at Embry-Riddle, and what we do in here is we overhaul magnetos for the school's fleet, and we also overhaul all their engines. Everything that you do, other people rely on. So when you're working on those airplanes, you might not be flying them, but other people will, and you kind of have that greater sense of responsibility to do things right so that you know they're safe. Everywhere you are in the world, the mention of Embry-Riddle, everybody knows it's the best aviation school in the world. We have a very high placement rate for our students once they leave this program. We often have a number of employers that actually know when our graduation dates are and come here prior to those times in order to recruit students to fill positions that they have because they know the caliber of person that they're getting. I really like what I'm doing here. I get to work in the repair station. I get to talk to different people that are in the industry. It's really giving me that confidence that I can do it and I can succeed. Whatever area of aviation maintenance science you're interested in, you're going to find it here at Embry-Riddle. It is one of the best schools in the entire country for aviation. What better school to choose than Embry-Riddle for aviation maintenance? 